volume in 2018. This figure alone points to a strong bilateral trade corridor between both countries. On that finance bill. At the annual economic summit of the French week, professionals, members of the French business community and investors are meeting to share ideas for a shared business future. The Nigeria government, through the Presidential Enabling Business Council, has already implemented a series of reforms in the last three years. And the progression of Nigeria in the latest ease of doing business ranking seems a good sign. Therefore, French companies are more and more willing to do business in Nigeria, whether for exploitations or for investments. We are in a country that requires still a lot of investment in infrastructure, in power, and they are key elements, key elements of the development. So one key message of the uh, Nigerian government at the moment is diversification. And we totally abide by that. And all the French companies here, as well as the French government, is here, of course, to, to enhance and to support the Nigerian government in making this economic diversification come true. While applauding the federal government for moves aimed at making the business environment more conducive, Speaker maintained that there is need to address issues relating to basic infrastructure in order to build investors' confidence. One of our priorities is agriculture because, as it was said in the forum, Nigeria population will double until 2050 and the needs to feed this population are, ne are huge. So we are investing a lot and we are trying to invest more and more in agriculture to improve productivity, especially in the north of the country, but also to sign uh, industrial partnership. What we did today was to highlight the problems and then propose solutions, not just talking about problems, because one thing we do is to analyze problems and not propose solutions. We talked about the African Continental Free Trade Agreement and we said that after three months, Nigeria closed its borders after signing that agreement. So what are the prospects today with the biggest markets in Africa? We have the problem of our infrastructure gap, which is power, power and good roads. So we are advocating that the government fix these issues so that Nigeria can become globally competitive. In a World Bank report released in October this year, Nigeria moved up 15 spots on the Global Ease of Doing Business Index. Members of the business community say this development has a positive impact on the investment climate of Africa's most populous nation.